Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing what I've thrifted lately over the past few months. I have some pieces from Depop, eBay, as well as flea markets like the Rosewell flea market and the Silver Lake flea market. And I also even have a mystery thrift box from Three Days a Week Vintage that I haven't even opened yet. So I'm gonna start out with everything that I thrifted and try and style an outfit for each piece so you can get inspiration. And then after those, I will be opening the mystery thrift box because this just arrived today. I wasn't planning on including it in this video, but I'm just so excited. They are one of my favorite vintage shops on Instagram. Today's video is also sponsored by Squarespace, so if you're interested in hearing more about them, just wait till the end. I got this beautiful cardigan at the Rose Bowl Flea Market, I believe for around $20. It has a scalloped hem and pearly buttons, and I just love how delicate and feminine this is. There are so many ways to style it. Honestly, in the fall, I feel like this is just the perfect outfit. All I need is my loafers, adding my favorite Paloma wool bag and some cat eye sunglasses. And to me, this is just such a classic look. I feel like a cardigan is very timeless, but pairing it with these straight leg jeans, it kind of edges it up a little bit. You could even wear this with sneakers. Sammy is trying to play fetch with me right now. I also thrifted this perfect cardigan at the Rose Wolf Flea, and there are so many ways to wear this, but I like wearing it as a top, honestly. Originally, I was gonna pair this with denim shorts because that's how I've worn it before, and I really liked it with them, but I can't find my shorts. So here is a denim skirt, and we'll see how it looks with the loafers, but I also have another idea. I feel like I kind of look like a teacher, but I still think it's cute. Um, I, I like a denim skirt. Not everyone's into it, and I respect that, but here's one option <laughs> with this cardigan. Good news, I found the shorts. These are Levi's 501 mid-thigh shorts. I'll link them below. They're by far my all-time favorite, but I love wearing boots with shorts. It is a bit of a summer look, but at the same time, if it's too hot, you don't want to be wearing boots. So I feel like it can be worn into the fall, or at least here in California. Sweater, shorts, but you know, our weather's weird. I also thrifted this bag at a flea market not too long ago, and it's just been my favorite thing to throw onto an outfit that is otherwise like all basics because I don't wear a lot of bright colors, bright patterns, and this just brings in some excitement. I wore it to a music festival somewhat recently, and I just really loved it. So yeah, that also I feel like looks good with it. Next up, I am styling this brown vintage Forever 21 skirt that I got on Depop. To me, it looks identical to the Unif Mocha skirt. Honestly, I really like these together. I was gonna wear a different top, but I feel like it coordinates really well. And I am actually gonna pair this, I think with these sneakers, would that be crazy? Everything looks good with Doc Martens Oxfords in my opinion, but I also have these Adidas. Personally, I've been a fan of the Adidas Sambas trend. I got these on eBay for $40 and I just really like how sporty they are. They're so different from any shoes that I normally wear. So I have been into them. And here is just another way to style the skirt. This is kind of more what I originally had in mind, just like a little bit more simple with my everyday bag. Next up is a pair of bright Kelly green trousers that I got at the Rose Bowl and they fit me perfectly. They're just so out of my comfort zone and I was trying to find my like black vest top to wear with them because I think that would be really cute but I can't find it so I think I'm just gonna wear it with this white top and if you guys have any suggestions on what to pair with bright green pants leave them in the comments. <laughs> I just paired them with my favorite loafers and this bag that I actually got at the Rose Bowl flea market as well because they do have a lot of people selling vintage designer and they will get in trouble if it's not real. So you can trust them. They have all the like authentication cards. So I splurged on this beautiful little Louis lunchbox and I am obsessed with it. I feel like it really 
ties together this outfit and brings in something more interesting with the pattern. The last item I got at the Rose Bowl was this eyelet midi skirt. It's kind of actually in between like a mini and a midi, but I really like the cut of it. I think it's really interesting. With this skirt, I feel like you could either go the more casual route and just pair it with any t-shirt or pair it with like a dainty little cutesy top. Two different directions. For shoes, I'm actually gonna wear something that I thrifted that I am so excited about. Words can't describe. These are Fry Campus boots and I've been looking for a pair of these for months and I finally found them in my size on Depop. I got them for $150. They retail for like $350, so it was a pretty good deal, but you can find them cheaper if you just look really hard, but I know they're very sought after. I kind of look like someone that should be in The Princess Bride, but I like it, I don't know. I'm always just experimenting with different outfits and silhouettes and combinations in these videos. I feel like it's good to get out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself with thrifted pieces because they're not that expensive. Like the skirt was $10. <laughs> so it's a nice way to, to try new things without spending a ton of money. These I know are such a staple and I will wear these for many years to come. So they were worth splurging on for sure. I can't wait to wear them with like a sweater and a skirt in the fall and also dresses in the spring. They're everything. That was everything that I thrifted, but now it's time to open up the mystery box from three days a week and I'm so excited. I have never done a thrift mystery box before. The first thing I immediately pulled out was this little purse that is covered in pearly buttons. This is gonna look amazing on my bookshelf as well, in my bedroom, where I have all my purses. Oh my goodness, this is so me. It is a little crocheted cardigan. I need to try this on immediately. Oh my God, guys, can you believe this outfit? She absolutely nailed this. This couldn't be more spot on my style than anything else. I just paired it with my loafers and my favorite skirt. And this has to be one of the cutest outfits I've worn in a really, really long time. I like genuinely feel like myself, like extreme joy. That great feeling you get. I can't wait to try on the next piece. This is a light green button up, which again, I would totally wear. I think I'm gonna pair it with my denim shorts. The color of this is so cute. I feel like this is really getting me out of my comfort zone. I just noticed that the buttons are shaped like flowers. I just put on my favorite shorts and I'm actually gonna pair this with my boots. And I really love it. I feel like this box has just gotten me a little bit out of my comfort zone. And then the last piece I'm gonna style in this video is this skirt with two layers of ruffles. This sweater is from UNIF and I used to wear it all the time. I kind of forgot about it, but it just came to mind because I always would wear it with my patterned midi skirts. I just dove into the back of my closet to find these shoes because this skirt is very Y2K and I just need to pair it with these platforms. These are from Urban Outfitters like three or four years ago and they're still going strong. I feel like this is just such a cute look if you really want to lean in to Y2K, which I think is fun sometimes for like going out. They just don't make clothes like this anymore. They feel so high quality. Thank you so much to Three Days a Week Vintage for the package. It was such a nice surprise. Definitely check out her Instagram. And now to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and run your business. I've been using Squarespace to run my website, lindsayrum.com, for a matter of years now, and I seriously recommend it to everyone. They've really streamlined the website building process with thousands of customizable templates, as well as 24 seven customer support. So you are really in great hands when it comes to creating a website, no matter what you're looking for. In the beginning, I had mine focused on my graphic design work, so I had lots of galleries and used it as a way to get jobs. And now I use my website 
website more as a portfolio to showcase my social media work and have an about me section as well as a blog. So there are many ways to use your website. One of my favorite things about Squarespace is that you can create a custom domain directly through them. So I have lindsayrem.com and that has helped so much in terms of branding. I highly recommend that feature. Squarespace is also amazing when it comes to blogging features. If that's something that you're interested in, you can have blog posts with threaded likes, replies, and comments, which is so amazing for creating a community. And you can also draft, categorize, and schedule blog posts to go live, which is seriously key as a creator. Squarespace also gives you access to powerful analytics and data about your website. So you can gain insight to your site visitors, where they're coming from, traffic sources, and more. Whether you're creating a portfolio site, a food blog, an online store, I highly recommend Squarespace. You can really do it all and if you're interested you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem or use my code lindsayrem at checkout. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you with a new video very soon. Bye guys!